Chrome. Hello, guys. Can you all hear me? Okay, great. Great, okay. Okay, so welcome to this um, Zoom session, the last one of the month of March. And um, it will be a little bit different because today my trading view is not working. I do not know why. I just have a blank page. So we're going to look at the chart for my uh, platform, my MT4 directly. Okay. So before we do that, I would like us to go on to the economic calendar and um, see what we have. See, uh, have a look and see what we have uh, there in terms of news and everything. Are we recorded? Bonjour au francophone. Et Bienvenue à votre première session de Zoom pour ceux qui n'ont jamais participé à, à, à des Zoom avec nous et les autres, bienvenue à une autre session de Zoom. OK. I just translated and greeted the French guys. OK. As you can see, this is what my trading view looked like. So we're not using that today. Okay, so every week on Sundays, you have to look at your economic calendar and see what is going on there, what news you have and everything. So I'm just going to adjust the time. You don't know me, you mean a lot to us. Oh, thank you, Miss P. Thank you, guys. <laughs> she said, for, I'm spending Forex money. Who told you that? <laughs> okay. So this is our economic calendar. As you can see, there is one head, two heads. It goes according to importance. I like to filter it and only focus on two or three heads. Okay, going back to it. So this is our week. In 55 minutes, we will have pound news. At this stage, every single pound news uh, with two heads is important because it will affect the market one way or the other. And then at 2.30, we have um, building permit for US and we have some Brazilian news. I don't think anybody here trade Brazil. Um, consumer confidence, and then my favorite, New Zealand, late in the evening. So with that being said, let's check. Oh, it's still not open. So moving on. Is Julie in here? I don't think so. Eh? Okay, I'll just send a quick test to tell her that we live. Okay. Um, like I said, today we're looking at my platform. Most of you guys know that I have um, this thing here. I have uh, multiple charts. I like to look at multiple charts, so I have it here. Now, since I normally don't look at Dixie here, we're going to look for it and add it. Oh, what is that? US dollar or something. No. Couple bonds. This is 
know these are stock. Is that not too far? Hi guys, sorry I'm late. Now me, what are you looking for? Dixie. Oh, a trader's way. No, not forex. Yeah. Uh, I was looking for it. Let me help you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I was looking for it, and you even helped me. You need to go back to gold. I think it's next to gold and things like that. Okay. I'm here. Uh, um, no, that's not the one. That's UK stock. Okay. It must be somewhere here. Yes, I, I got it. Yeah. Okay. So your traders, your trading view didn't open. Sorry, shame. Yeah, I told them trading view is not opening today. And what is this? Okay. Okay, I have it here. I just have to apply my profile on it. And that's what it looks like for the moment. Um, we are going to do the same thing from daily and then, yeah, top down analysis. Okay, take it, take it again. Put it again on the chart. Okay. Okay, with the pivot. Yeah, the pivot is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I have. And to analyze, I still see the same thing. Guys, to be able to identify this, uh, if you see a range or so on the more you practice the easier it becomes eh? so i have this here and i will insert zigzags okay so we are at the bottom of my channel we are going to make higher highs uh, we are at the bottom of my channel, but at the same time, the point where we are, it's kind of dynamic support. Not everywhere, but it used to be. It's an important zone. That's what I would say. So I'll highlight it in purple. And then we're going to H4. H4, I like to have this thing called market separation. Am I going too fast? Please stop me if I'm going too fast. Do we have any French speaker in the group? Let's go another francophone la. I guess not, or they can type. No, no answer, okay. So I guess not. And I can easily continue in English. So yes, having that candle separation shows you where the market open, right? So the market open here, and it's a mid pivot point. So um, normally, when the market open in this zone, it can go either way, either up or down, right? So now candle information will give us some sort of direction. So we saw a major for last week then we had up 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 then down then market went up and then we had a push down uh yeah we had a push down so i'm expecting this market to go higher and then at the 200 we will see what happened because for me 200 is that zone that determines fair, fair market price so we are below fair market price and uh, i'm expecting a push up to this and then see if we're going higher let me have indicators so this is what i want to see right
need to reduce this thing. Okay. Yes. But like we said, we should always have two scenarios, right? So on the other side, this is what I'm expecting to see. I'll change the color. Yes, so this is what I have. We will see what will happen according to this. Any, do you guys have any view? Do you want to add anything? Is there someone who is seeing something different? You can unmute yourself and then we can talk. Otherwise, we move on to look at uh, USD CHF. Okay, let me just move on. Okay. I don't see any messages. Okay, cool. USD CHF. For those who can see it, this is USD CHF. Um, same thing, I still have to fix or leave the pivot out. We can also do that. Okay, for USD CHF, price is coming from what looked like support. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I have. Um, we had a push down, then push up, then push down. So since the market it's moving sequence, so this is what we have. I'll change the color, don't worry. So it can be visible to anyone. Instead of doing that, why don't I add zigzags? Yeah, and maybe uh, maybe you put thicker zigzag because on Dixie we couldn't really see it. Eh? Okay, you I'll put, put them thicker. And maybe uh, like yellow or orange, a color that is not is not on the thing. We have to okay. Uh uh, okay. Uh mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but still, it's not um showing what I wanted you guys to see. You wanted the double bottom to so to show. Yeah. So. I can see, well, Julie can see what I'm seeing, which is the double bottom. I wanted to emphasize that, mm. but that didn't work out. So anyway, we have a double bottom here. Double bottom at support means that we're going higher. So we're going higher maybe to this zone to touch the zone there. And again, the 200 is the fair market price. Yeah, fair market price is there. I'm sure some people might be confused that what are this girl talking about? It's, uh, we use pivot points to determine zone of support and resistance. And um, we also include confluence, which is the gray zone that you see. Um, that's where basically the market had or price had a little bit of a hard time to break you know those difficult zones so to be realistic i have to do this uh to that zone then if we break uh obviously price will come back down then we can see now a push up from there there's no other zone that might be an issue however i can clearly see this you see, so we either going up to this zone or we sing at 10.99 something, but uh, push down double bottom. So double bottom at support 
uh, indicate that we are going higher. But in case, that is not what will happen today because there are news coming up. We might see this for my 80s price to come down to this zone, then up a little bit and respect that trend line and down we go. So like we said, now we have graduated. We're not just looking at one move and then if it doesn't respect your that move, you are out, you're not taking a trade, no. If it makes sense to you, you have to consider both sides because like we said, the market is not anybody's relative to give you heads up, right? So we can only rely on candle information and prepare ourselves for news outcome. And the only the best way to do that is to prepare for both sides. So we have plan A, plan B. Um, we can do EU. Again, I will insert the zigzag in another color, not red. Okay. And make it a bit thick. Okay. Um, yeah, market open in this zone, and this look like a doji, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is some sort of indecision there. Um, just like we noticed, the opposite of USDCHF, we had a push down, then a clear double top. Here, we just have series of indecision, doges and doges and doges. Okay. Now, please, can you go on H1? Let's see. Okay. Because on each one, I think we're gonna see Ooh, the double cute. top. Actually. Yeah, it's kind of a double top. Yeah. Uh, so it may go back to the 200 on each one and then come back. So you see, that's why we we speak about 200 as a fair market uh, value. So, yeah. Mm hmm. I like it. So we might see price going um, up to the 200 before uh, a clear push down to where? Let's see. Oh, if it's going, if we respect in structure, first support will be here. Second one is all the way down here. Okay, let's do that. We'll place that properly. So this is what we are saying. to respect this one. And then maybe we see this going back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, down we go. Yeah. Okay. Market opened that, uh, no, no, I thought it was M3. Mm -hmm. No, I think market open at M3. Eh? Let's M2. Go to M2. Yeah, let's go to H4. Let's see H4. Did you, can you put back the pivot? Yeah, the pivot are on. Market open mm -hmm. at M2 with a doji. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it might be bearish because of the EMAs going. Heading soft. Yeah. However, this this is EU, you know. You know me and EU. <laughs> I prefer to be safe than sorry. I have two scenarios. Mm. So this is plan A. That navy what what I don't like it. Okay. I'll have plan B from here target it's normal mm -hmm. because i'm not doing anything out of the ordinary i'm just respecting um my pivot and where according to where market open the two scenarios are plotted 
Um, I favor the, the bearish uh, move. Why? Because my EMAs are indicating a sell, right? The candles are above my EMA. It's a fair indication of a sell. However, according to where market open, if we have we uh, bullish on it, it's a bullish entry. It means that in normal case scenario, I'm going to M M4. Hence, I have placed my TP, my arrow there. So it's one of the two, and I have it in two colors because I'm using this platform. Everybody knows how. MT4 is difficult to analyze with. Yeah. You guys just have to bear with me. Not everything will be as perfect as uh, when we work with trading view, but at least you can see the colors and I'm also clearly stating target. And if that's where we're going, can you see the, um, that's last week high. So we might just make a double top and uh, yeah. next week a proper sell, you know? You'll yeah. never know. I, I, I'm seeing something else now. Me, a third, <laughs> a third plan would be this because you see the last week sell. Mm -hmm. It shows that we we going down, right? Yeah. So maybe what can happen? It's the price normally would go to this week M3 mm -hmm. to make a, like a kind of a lower high as compared to last week high. Mm -hmm. It goes to M3, mm -hmm. then it can fall from there because M3 is the sell zone for this week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's have that also in another color. Oh, this dog. Yeah, just while you're changing colors, I just wanted to say mm -hmm. uh, that. We're using pivots because they are leading indicators, not lagging indicators. So pivot point will show you in advance where market is going because there is target and everything. That's why we use pivot points and not, uh, you see, we have the EMAs on the chart, uh, but we first look at the pivots. That's why, firstly, Naomi said, uh, we looked at the weekly open, you see. So we wanted, uh, like, because it's open at M2, it's going to M4 normally. But we need to know, are we in a bearish market or are we in a, in a bullish market? Because another thing that I just, uh, I ju I just saw now also is... If you see the zigzag that is forming there, now me, mm -hmm. look the the huge push up. Mm -hmm. The huge push up that was the first move. So it looks it can be uh, when you do this, it's even something <laughs> something yeah. Because, yeah. because when, when you when you zoom the, uh, out or what, when you're making it smaller, we even see clearly that we had like an M forming. Yeah, you see, that's why I think we're gonna agree. Everybody, I, I, I see that uh, Grace is also agree favoring the star. So we had already our double top, so we're waiting for a lower high to form before continuing down. But that is if Dixie goes up. Mm. So don't, don't forget, guys, that. Always, always look at Dixie. If Dixie is going up, then our sell is gonna sell. We don't even need, we just look at the perfect country and we enter at the sell. But if Dixie start falling now, we already know that our, our price is going to M4. Okay, guys? Yeah. Let me make my zigzag on Dixie bigger and zoom out. So everybody can capitulate on what you said. Okay, this is Dixie. So we had a few touch of that resistance and then went down and uh, we are sitting kind of in the middle. Yeah, and Dixie is in a channel. So because it's in a channel, if you see, 
uh, Dixie went down to touch the bottom of the channel. You know, when we are in a channel, it's like we're ranging kind of. So normally, because it's um, it's bounced from the bottom of the channel, yeah, uh, from the bottom of the channel, then it's normally going to the top of the channel because the move down already completed. It's going up to the, the top of the channel. But we must always listen to the market condition, what will happen with uh, the trade deal between China. We look at our, yeah, our, the, the yield of the US bond, all that. So the normal, in a normal market condition, we're going up to the top of the channel. So we need to listen to, to our news to know. Yeah, so that's the assignment this week. This week, news need to be your best friend because you, you, it will determine the direction of, of so many things where we go in in terms of, uh, dollar and uh, JPY and like last week we noticed that okay when there is indecision in the market people are not decided or when there is too much risk in the market. Um, people run to safe haven, but again, you don't just jump into any safe haven. You have to decide the best safe haven that is at support or resistance, that that's the one that you will favor more. So most people did not favor dollar because dollar was doing its own thing. It was at a major support level. So we did not see that push down, right? Uh, yeah, we saw that most pairs of the, the pairs that gained mainly was JP, JPY pairs, okay? So moving on, we have that scenario, like Julie said, we already have some sort of, an, of a double top M here. So we expect in a fall, it can fall from the uh, green trade plan or from the orange, or we can see completely opposite for price to head up. To because also four. now me sorry mm -hmm. my dad no problem uh, do you see do you see why it started falling it's a monthly m3 yeah so the bearish it's going to monthly m1 down there yeah you see so which coincides with the your orange arrow mm. yeah. okay monthly because m3 it's a, it's an extreme resistance target uh when you look at uh, daily. So it started, basically she's saying that the price started falling from the, it's a daily move that we're witnessing here. That's what, she, that's the whole thing that Julie is saying. Uh, consider the fact that we are at the end of the month. So if this entry mm -hmm. have to be respected, it will be a quick push because we only have mm -hmm. those few days to complete this month. It will be a quick push down, right? To create a double bottom. Moving on, uh, any other pair that you want to look at? Should we look at USD card or move on to something new? Like NU or? NU, please, NU now, for NU. me. No problem. NU, here we are. And the others, if you want another USD uh, pair, please put it in your chat. Me, I just, I just wanted to see where's NU and now Miss view because I mean, and you. Let me make my zigzag a little bit thicker and change color because red is already there. Okay, and tan, um, Tando, uh, we're going to look at CAD JPY when I do my part because I do the. I do CAD and oil, so we will look at CAD JPY, okay? Okay, so this is NU. Um, let me see daily. Um, I feel like we've been kind of at the same place for some time. You see this? Guys, I have been using different techniques, so don't be surprised. I use a highlighter in uh, 
in one chart and then the other one I'm just using line. I've, I think that's just the way I trade them. Okay, so this is what I see. And you have been moving in this sequence. So I would say kind of a range because the bottoms, uh, there's a lot of bottoms and a lot of tops. There's no clear push. Like I do not see a proper head and shoulder. We saw kind of, but it didn't drop, right? So it's not valid anymore. I spotted an inverted head and shoulder, didn't happen. So I would say I'm looking at the range. We have five messages. Um, okay, USC, JPY, uh, pound AUD. Can you use trend line icon to make the arrow? No, um, I was just, now me, I was just, Masefata was asking, Okay. How do you do your, you know, to make the arrow? What do you use to show the possibilities? Okay. So I was just answering. No problem. Yeah. So we have a lot of tops. We have a lot of bottom, but um, I see. This is what I see. Okay. Where did market open this week? Candle separation. Okay. We open the get zoom. Yeah, that's too much. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. For any you guys, I don't I see okay. Um push up lower high consolidation then we have um, a lower high because this high is lower than the other one. So um, just looking at candle information, I'm going down. But my market open at uh, the middle pivot, right? It's a middle pivot, but on the monthly, it's an M3. So it's supposed to be a base entry. I'm supposed to be down but it's not moving down. So we might see, we might be in a case of uh, week against week because New Zealand is weak. Dollar fundamentally is weak. So uh, this might consolidate for some time. Okay. This must con might consolidate for some time. However, there is a low, there is a lower high. So, and yeah, lower high. Um, if I want to use my EMA, um, I would say my trend is bullish because my 21 EMA is above the 55. Or if you want, I would say my trend is bullish because all my candles are above the EMA. Simple. Um, if we go back in history, can you see the um, candles were below the EMA? Price kept falling, then we had the cross, and uh, right now the candles are above the EMA, right? But we are at a at a base entry, and um, in the normal case, from this entry PP, we are going to where to the back of the net. From PP. From where market open, this is where we are going, right? But mm -hmm. the candles are not telling me that. The candles are not telling me that. So this is what I'm expecting to see. I have that angle there. Let me adjust to, okay. I'll say I'm waiting for a break in another color break and retest then i will sell it so if you are using no i can't use gray on gray so if you are using pending order for people who work and cannot look at the chart all the time or just you want to have a life just place your pending order a few people below and then down you go. So if I had to place a pending order, I'll place it here. Right? Yeah. 
I'll place it right there at that particular number. And then I'm going to miss on those few pips. But I'm heading down. Now, if uh, I'm thinking of respecting pivot point and looking at EMAs and saying, okay, what if the, the EMAs, the fact that the price is above and uh, this is going to move this way or that way, so what do I do? I'll place a trend line to join the tops and uh, yeah, wait for a break and retest. So break. But remember, I've placed this line here. When we zoom out, it has been a resistance for some time, you know, that oh, maybe I should change, use another color. Uh, we will have it in red. Because that's the top of our range. You guys should remember, we went on to daily. We had spotted the range and uh, the top of our range is that line there. So if by any chance today we break out of the range or this week, I will still wait for a break. Mm, we are in a triangle, right? Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I'll wait for a break, retest, then take it. Um, for a buy, but again, I'm not going to wait for the break and say, okay, at the top of the range, uh, that's when I'm going to place my buy. It's a top of of a range on a bigger mm -hmm. time frame. So if you are going the route of a pending order, place your, how do you call it? Your pending order away from the top of that range. So yes, I said break, retest, then I will take it. I'll place my pending order right here, somewhere there. But again, can you guys see why we have issue in terms of if price buy, that means if the price go higher, it's going to, hit, to respect this range and then drop. If it doesn't respect, here is another extreme resistance, the pink zone. Mm -hmm. There's once too you, much resistance. Yeah, once you break out of that, the, the gray zone here is another extreme resistance. That's the monthly resistance. And then we have this week resistance. And if I include daily in this chart, let's go on to daily. Uh, sorry, um, H1. So today's pivot. Can you see? Here is resistance. So it's resistance on top of resistance. So weekly resistance on the other chart. H4 was uh, where? 0 0.6962. 0 0.6962. So weekly resistance is, uh, is around this. I just want you guys to understand so we can agree or we can disagree, right? This is my daily chart. That means if I'm trading only today and closing my, my uh, chat at midnight this is what i'm looking at right um, so i have resistance here here is my weekly resistance and then there is my monthly resistance do you guys want to take that risk in terms of a buy i don't want to no you don't buy at resistance it's too much too many too many conferences also now me please can you go back to h4 Okay. I just saw something. Okay, let me um, maximize and then please go ahead and explain. You saw what? Yeah, no, no, no. Don't maximize. It's too much maximization. Go minimize. Zoom. Reduit. English. Reduit, please, now me. Yes. It's too much. Oh, Reduit okay. un peu. Sure, no problem. Reduit. Okay. You know what I see? Like you're saying, it, it's, uh, the price has been ranging. Come to have you, the range that you identified. You yeah. See? So, and it's ranging, there is like ranging, ranges within those ranges. Mm. You see? 
because there is like um you see where there is the peak the monthly pp the thick black yeah. lines those that yeah. don't know yes this the monthly pp no oh, the black no, line yeah the black line the thick black yeah there and the next gray yes yeah That's that was a was a range as well that range was broken we went from that range for the for the next range mm. right so and then when it got to the top of that range the price was rejected so the i would advise ne, those that are not in nu please stay away from nu because there is too much sideway market sideway inside of a sideways so for those like me that is inside there I am in a cell because I sold at the first uh, high day. Mm. Then it went down and then now it's kind of coming down. I'm going to stay in the cell because there is a lot of uh, a lot of resistance up there. There is like the weekly resistance, the monthly resistance. So I'm going to stay in the cell. For those that are not here in the and you please leave it there is other possibility where we have like a trending market that will tell us clearly what to, what to do so yeah so please stay away from nu because also you see it in a triangle we need a break of the triangle either way a good break should be uh, uh, to the downside because we know the target we're going to break from m3 so we're going to m1 the green m1 at the bottom there now me can you point to m1 m1 down m1 uh weekly this week m1 at the bottom now that last week why are you going to the past yeah it's there you see so please just and you is too is too complicated it's not clear there's too much indecision so let the price tell you what to do so this can mean that uh dollar and um and new zealand they have the same relative strengths they are both weak same weakness that's why the price is very indecisive so it's a good thing that we looked at it we know that we need to stay away Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we did that. Um Julie, can you do uh oil and I'll come back and do uh Okay. JPY. Let me stop sharing. Just I just have to click on stop share. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and share, uh, share, 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 okay. Yeah, I think it, that you, there's a problem. You can see my Dixie on trading view, okay? Please tap yes if you see me, and can you hear me properly also? I need feedback so that we can move on, please. Tap a Y to say yes. Let me see. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Okay, guys. Um, we're gonna not do a top-down analysis because I think we've been following this pair. We've been following oil. And I, I kept the arrows. If you remember, this is from last week. Right? We know from last week you remember the ones that were here two weeks ago you know how i came to see the channel on h4 right and and when you see my zones yeah when they are not blue like this yellow or another color it means that it's a bigger time frame support and if it's on the top there it's a it's a resistance bigger time frame daily or weekly okay so we've been following the channel. Do you remember two weeks ago we were here? We didn't know if we were going down, up. So oil has been trend, trending higher. Last week, what happened? This is an error from last week. 
we had this move, right? We came to the top of the channel. Sorry. Um, we came to the top of the channel and then the price was rejected and it's it was because there was confluence. Okay, I I use my uh, pivot only on the on my MT4. So on the pivot on MT4, we could see clearly confluence. So this line and the channel, so it is normal that we, we got rejected. So right now we are sitting kind of in the middle, right? If we follow our, our color codes, normally the next move should be, okay, we went from red to red, red to blue, and the blue here, remember we always work with a zone, not like a price level, it's always a zone. So we had like a, a support, if you see this, this zone here, It's a support, okay, why? Ah, okay. Come on. Okay. Let me see. Uh, remove. Okay. So, I'm just trying. This zone here is a support plan as well. So, the, our color code, right, is we went from blue, from red to red, and we are kind of um, we are kind of respecting the color code because normally it's from blue from red to blue, and then we should go from blue to blue there. Okay, let me just put the. So that those that don't know how I get my uh, my things can see how I do. Okay, it's supposed to be a rectangle. I want to get the the other blue. Come on, why? But I just wanted one rectangle. One. Okay, I'm trying to get out of the drawing thing. <sighs> See this thing when when they decide to not obey. When they decide to not work, they don't work. Eh? My they don't. My chart no, is still pink. Uh, no, I don't want. I don't want to publish. See. Uh, leave this site, cancel. I want, okay, maybe leave. Okay, let's go back and see. Maybe, maybe, I don't know what trading dress got has these days. Just behaving. Okay, what is the chat? I see there's like maybe two messages. No, I'm reading, don't worry. Okay. So let's go back. Please don't be like that. Be nice, okay? Be nice. Okay, I just want one rectangle, not 10 rectangles, please. Okay, trading view, be nice. Okay, you see, yeah, I just want one rectangle. You know, I just, I wanted to, to, to move the rectangle. Uh, so, okay, in the chat, can someone tell me if someone knows? Uh. I don't know why the drawing, I, I already drew. Anyway, guys, 
so that we don't we don't waste time we don't have time to waste what i will do okay i will you see that now the problem is like my pointing thing is gone it's gone now i can only draw okay uh, It's only drawing and drawing and drawing. Can I point? I don't know. Okay, guys, we're gonna do this. I will. I will try to to resolve this problem and put in the Telegram where we're going so that you can see the price level. I think it's sorted now. Let's see. You see, you no, can when I, oil and ah, stuff. Ah, God. Okay, for those that don't understand, as Naomi just put in the in the chat, this is this is we use different techniques, and this is a geometry technique. We have we're gonna have the master of geometry that will have a boot camp to teach everybody how to do this. Okay. So yeah. I'm trying to get the blue one. Okay, guys. So the color code we went from red to red, red to blue, and now the next. The next uh, level where oil is going, it's up there. Okay, so we're going to the blue there. This is so it's around sixty one ninety two. This is the next price, and if you see, it's been respecting. It's doing higher highs since this inverted head and shoulder that we had there. It's been doing higher highs. But however, guys, like we say, we always need to have... Naomi, can you maybe mute yourself for the time that I'm talking? Because you have background. Thank you, love. Uh, you have background sounds. I see something else here, guys. We are in a channel. And the channel was not broken, right? So when a channel is not broken, the price is respecting the channel, we will assume that the channel will be respected until it's broken. So what happened? If you see every time, if you see in the past, every time that the channel was either way at the support or at the resistance, the price respected. So this is our color code saying that we're going higher with oil. But if we, we respect like simple geometry, simple uh, channel, and also I'm going to remove this arrow so that we see properly, okay? See what is forming here. You see, it's like we have a, a head, a, a left shoulder, a head, and maybe a right shoulder, right, guys? So we're not going to assume directly that, no, we're going higher and also because we have the 50 that it's supporting here. So first scenario, we're going higher because of the trends and everything. But also second scenario, we're going to go back to the bottom of this channel before going higher, right? And in that case, it's going to be like the price is ranging because we went from here to red. And if we come from red to red, we're ranging. So then we're going to, uh, even with the card, uh, um, card space, we will see some sort of range. So second scenario, I'm just going to draw it so that we keep it in mind. And uh, I'll... I'm gonna do this instead. Okay. Uh, this one. 
to show people that don't see. So we have a left shoulder, we have a head, and then a possible right shoulder formation, right? And in this case, we know that head and shoulder means we're going down. It's a pattern that is signaling a cell. So in this scenario, we're gonna have in another color, we will see price going like this. Let me use another color. Always, always be open-minded and know so that, that's why we don't give signals, we give setups. Because you know what price does, you know what to do if price does this or the other, you see. And also if, see here, that's why we, we would favor the upside. It's a little bit like NU, right? We have a lot of support here, a lot of confluent support. This is my daily support. So if it breaks going down, it will find support, immediate support, not far. So that's why we're favoring the, the black arrow, okay? So this is plan A in black, plan B in orange. And you know, did I take it out? Yeah. Always, always remember this. So oil up, XX card down, it's or if oil does black, we have this. If it's this one, we have this one. Okay, let's go to JBP CAD. We will go to CAD JPY just now. Let me do the ones that we usually do. Okay, guys, this one, keep this uh, trade plan with you and keep it well because what happened last week? Okay, last week we were sitting here at the beginning of the, the, the week on Tuesday, last uh, Zoom. We were sitting here and I highlighted this in black here. It's a daily channel, okay? And what I did, I, I was showing you guys that, look, if we go back in time, the channel, since the price went inside the channel, the channel have been respected. So what we had last week, it was, we, we were at the top of the channel. And then why did I highlight this zone? It's because I was showing you guys that there was like one, two, three. It was, yeah, last week, yeah. Three rejection of the top of the channel. So that's why I was saying that no, the price is going. So what we could we could get, because you know, this is a pound, pound pay. So pound pay these days with Brexit, it's doing its own thing. Please, okay. So what we could get last week, we got 278 pips out of the trade plan. Then it was back to 0 0.0, okay? So now what? Remember, if a zone or a, a price level is, is tested several times, it will eventually got violated, broken. But what we will do, we will assume that we are in a channel until we see price going up, we test the top of the channel and going, we assume that this blue arrow we're just gonna move it from last week to this week. Okay, you see, I just see, I just noticed something here, guys. Our color code was respected, hey, last week. So we are going up, we went from blue to blue. If you see, if I remove this arrow, you see there's like, it's wicked, the price wicked, right? From blue to blue, what we, next it's what? From blue to red. So it respected the red. 
So normally it should go from red to red up there, right? That if found Teresa May uh, is out of uh, trouble and everything. So our plan A will be purely technical. We're not thinking about Brexit, which is a major fundamental. So if the fundamental of Theresa May, she's in trouble, tomorrow there's a vote and everything is against her, we're going to, we're going, our first TP should be here, right? Our first TP should be here and the second TP is like this, we're respecting the channel. Okay. No, it's not that blue. Okay, this is the plan A. Plan B, right? Plan B, it goes together with a favorable Brexit news, but also our color codes. So normally plan B is uh, the color code is what? Is blue to red. Red to red. So what we will see, it's we're going here. So anyway, look how plan A and plan B go inside. So we're going here anyway. First, and that is we measured from here to here is 278 pips, which is good. It's a lot. So plan A and plan B, we're going firstly here. Then what will happen? I'm gonna do it in another color. What will happen? It will break the channel. Uh, let me do it in another green, just to tell you that it's a uh, it will break the channel, retest the channel. It's not just going to go up like crazy. Retest the channel and go higher. Okay. Then it's going to respect a favorable uh, Brexit for pounds and our color code. Okay. So this is plan A, plan B. I'm gonna arrange it and I'll put it in the telegram, right? So let's go to Eurocard because those are pairs that we've been following, right? So what happened here? Last week we were here and I remember we were saying that if it goes either way, we are in the middle, it's gonna be 78 people and 71 or something pips. So what we, we had both plan uh, that um, implemented. So what it did from Tuesday last week, it went to the bottom of the channel. Then the channel was respected and we are the plan A also. If you see, this is my error from last week. It went to the top of the channel and there we are, we are in a, sell zone. Remember we said that we may see oil going up. We were favoring a uh, strong oil. So if we favoring a strong oil, okay, this is from last week, so I'm going to put it here and then we're going to change. If you see, there is already here double rejection of the level there. Uh, Yeah, we have like a double top, right? Okay, a double top at the top of a channel. What is it telling us that we're going down? So what we might see, right? We might see even if it goes higher 
we must see this. It goes I. Oh God, Jesus. Sorry guys. We're gonna see this. And our first TP, guys, we're respecting the channel, right? The first TP is there. So I don't know how much is, how many pips is this? Come on. So 70 pips. It can happen very quickly, like last week. Did you see one H4 candle? Chup, it got there and then up again. But if you notice, eh, we we having higher highs and how, higher lows. If you see, so meaning that we might break. We we are eventually gonna break up. But until we do that, we respecting the channel. And as we always say, you have. Here we can have three possibilities. So we're respecting the channel, plan A. Plan B, it's if instead of this arrow coming up here, it, it does this. I'm gonna put it in orange. It does that. Retesting. And then up we go, right? Yeah. Or it can break to the downside. Okay, guys. I don't even need to put um, uh, to put it at the here. I will put it on Telegram. But you guys know, if it break at the upside, we're going higher. And the TP, we're respecting the color code. So I'm gonna make another. I'm not gonna do that, but you just do another rectangle and you, you put it higher there, okay? And then you follow the color code. Okay, guys. So let's go to KJPY. Now me, there is no question, eh? I'm not- No, there is no it. question. Okay, KJPY. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. So what we saw, okay, uh, that in CAD JPY, remember last week, there was like a safe haven strengthening, especially the JPYs, because we were in risk off, and then also it was the end of the tax year in Japan, so JPY got strong, okay? And we got, this is like two weeks ago, so what we had, this was the move for last week we have like a move uh, down. So JPY, and this is more, you know, in every pairs, you need to know the, your pairs and how it functions. In cat JPY, the, uh, the pair is more uh, led, you say led, okay, for leading by yen than by cat. You see, that's why the move was very down because uh, it was a yen thing. Yen got very strong. That's why our cards got uh, cat JPY strongly went down. So what I would suggest here, right? It I'm gonna put my rectangles. It's something that I think I didn't look for at cat JPY. I was trading it, but I didn't look at it for uh, two weeks. So I'm just gonna put my rectangle, and yeah, okay, and this. I bet you that the the median is gonna the middle line is gonna coincide with the fifty, okay. So I will put my colors respecting what I've been doing. So for those who don't know how to, to, to do the rectangle, we're gonna have a, a cross with the master of the rectangles. You just have to come and do the boot camp so you can learn, it will explain everything. 
Okay. You see, what, what did I tell you? And you see the accuracy of the rectangle. So, and if you look left, this zone here, even if we didn't put the rectangle, when we have an uh, impulse, we look at the, the zone where it can go before starting, uh, before continuing to move. So even if you look left here, you can see that this zone here, it's, uh, let me, I'm going to put it for once in another color than the blue like this. Or maybe I should just respect the blue. This zone here is a role reversal, meaning that it was broken. The price is going up higher to go back down. Okay, I don't even need, normally you, you take the rectangle down to see where we're going, but I, I, I'm just gonna use the channels for those that don't use the rectangle. What you need to do, it's you, 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 you use the channel to see where uh, price will touch the channel that your tip is. Okay, so guys, normally with the channel breakout uh, thing, if you see there was, if we go on daily, we would see a very huge week for KJPY. It looks like the price is going to fill the week, but we're not gonna just drop me. It's, go, it's gonna do like um, steps. So that's why, because there is not another touch until here, this is our ultimate TP, right? Until there. So um, I have to use my rectangle. Okay. Uh. okay. Okay, guys, let me put it back up. So the move is like this. Let me take, I'm gonna use these arrows. Plan A, we're going back to the blue. So we did red to red, back to the blue. And so we, got, we did red to red, red to blue. And now it's blue. to blue, okay? And that is 210 pips, okay? That if, yeah, so you need to be answered because uh, the seasonality with yen, the strength of yen should finish, this is the last week, right? So we can see like, this move can take can take just maybe one day or something. So don't miss this move, please. Please, 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 please. So you know that we're going down there normally. So it should, it can be like it's drop, I don't know, four, five hundred pips. How many pips is that? From here to here. That's 400 pips. It can do that in one day or two days. So we need to stop cut JPY and do not move this this um, this move. And remember, I said in cut JPY is more of a JPY thing than a cut thing. Remember, we said that cut might be strong because of oil going up, but for if you see oil going up and CAD being strong, what I would recommend you, because it's going together with our trade plan, to jump into Euro, Euro CAD first, because remember in Euro CAD, we are at the top of the channel, we have a double top at the top of the channel, we might go down. So if you see oil going up, please go quickly first to Euro CAD and sell Euro CAD. Then you go to pound CAD, 
to see if it's gonna at least come here you sell and maybe we're talking here and maybe the move is already in the thing but please don't jump uh in a trade like that at least you see there's a 50 here but 50 really we are in this kind of a this zone this old zone is a kind of a consolidation so 50 is not really uh serving as support or resistance to the price so normally we're going here before then when we hear we're gonna see what will happen so if oil becomes weak and card becomes weak you know what to pay remember guys naomi always says know what what pay to trade even if she just mentioned it when saying that no the safe heaven becomes strong but you need to know what safe heaven are you gonna buy because they are strong you're not just going going to buy all chf pair or all jpy pairs you need to to have a trade plan, it's very important to have a trade plan and you have like a visual in your head to know, okay, listen, if oil doesn't get strong and it starts falling, which pair should I go and which is gonna go in line with oil weakness, meaning cut weakness, it's cut JPY. Because anyway, we're looking on south, we're looking on price to continue down for cut JPY. So if it's like a strong, strong oil market, meaning strong card, you buy, you sell euro card and GP, uh, GBP card. Okay, guys, that's all I had to prepare. Um, now I'm going to go back to the chat and try to, um, try to see other, other, other pairs. Now me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, I saw there was like a G E N G N. Yes. And then uh, pound Aussie dollar. G N yes. is your pay. G N is your pay now. Can <laughs> you do that? G N. Okay. Do you want to do before we go? Do you want to do G A, or should I do it? You can do it. Because okay. then we're gonna we're gonna do from uh, I will have to do it from scratch. If you already prepared it, you can do it. To try. Okay, I prepared, but as we can see, trading view is not working on my okay. platform. I am okay. I'm stopping sharing. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Moving on, we go into uh, hot forex. Can you guys all see? my platform oh, let me close this okay we said uh, someone mentioned gm because this evening we have news for it right let me see ah, this my template is not it's not there anymore no. No. I have a template for a profile for New Zealand, so that's what I'm trying to find. If I don't find it, no problem. I'm going to okay. I can't find my New Zealand profile, so what do I do? I go to British and then I'll create a profile quickly. Or uh, directly, I can go to what uh, Grace mentioned, which is Euro New Zealand and New Zealand CHF and so on. Okay. Okay, this is Euro New Zealand. Okay. Euro New Zealand H4. Let's just apply pivot. Okay. Euro New Zealand H4, clearly from candle information, we've been making series of lower high, lower high, lower high, right? And we are close to, um, how do you call it? Monthly support, right? But before that, we need to know where did the market open for this support to apply? Thank you. 
Okay. We have a question from the chat. What is it? Maybe we will be able to get the recording on the Telegram group. No, Miss P, we won't be able to get the recording on the Telegram group, but I will see what I can do for the recording. Okay, so we've been going, like I said, I think I mentioned that early this month that for me, Euro have been going down for so many months. It's not even funny since they decided to create the European Union, you know, bring the Euro out. This currency hasn't been successful. So we're not going to get into that, but if you want to go back in time, EU have been just losing value for as long as I can remember. So we are in a story of 10 years, right? Okay, so this is support. This evening we have news uh, for New Zealand. And New Zealand doesn't play, it's one of those that do not retrace. So if you're in the right move, the right direction, you're good to go. If you're in the wrong direction, um you're going to suffer a bit then maybe break even right but it's not one of those that will come back completely at your entry and you'll be happy for to have stayed in that pair for too long uh that's my observation of new zealand now, maybe, yes maybe do euro new zealand and then we it's been like more than an hour so for GA and GN, uh, we will put the trade plan in the group. Okay, I'll be as fast as possible. So this is what mm -hmm. we have um, currently, but the trend is bearish. So we might see, um, we are at the bottom of the, of the channel, the downward channel. So we might see a push up depending on the news, or we might be heading further down. So we might see this. I need to have that in another color. And like I always say, be realistic with my projection. Okay, no, it's kind of the same color. So I have to fix my color. Okay, purple. Okay. So, yes, this. We are in a downtrend. So if price go up, he will go to that level, then maybe go back, you know, down. Or go back down, I think create a lower high, something like this. Then we go into the 200, which is close to top of the channel, right? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. opposite will apply. We are very, very close to the bottom of the, to the bottom of this month uh, mm -hmm. um, pivot. But the market open at what? PP, right? So we're going to the back of the net, which is mm -hmm. that region there. So option two, depending on the news, you'll see this to the support, to the previous support. Why is that even? I can't see. Okay. I'll have it in black. Okay. So from there, I actually want it here, but since I can't do properly my project, yeah. so yeah. this is what we will look at, right? Mm -hmm. Either we're respecting the channel or we're breaking the channel to go to um, the monthly target. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. that would be how many people, because um, New Zealand, when they move, they move between uh, 50 to 100 and something, depending. That's 150 people. I think that's a reasonable target for, the, for mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. you know? Because if we want to go back and check, this is where the month opened. That week was how many people? 200, mm -hmm. close to 200 people. So that's the average for the New Zealand. Okay, we did Euro New Zealand. Um, I, I will quickly look at um, 
GN because uh, a quick thing that I want to add, if we look at uh, Euro New Zealand, we saw a bottom channel, we saw a channel descending channel and we are at the bottom of the channel, we might see the opposite on New Zealand CHF. So um, since we have just very few minutes, it's not going to help for me to do that. This is GP chart. Yeah, no, I moved to GN. GN, uh, for me, price was in the range, but I'm going to include the pivot and remove all the, the madness. And yeah, this is my demo account. GN, yes, double top up there. Then we are at the support level. So this is what I'm going to see. I'm expecting to see, right? Moving to this level because let me see if I zoom in. Am I respecting pivot? No, we are already out of the pivot. When you are out of the pivot, only the EMA, the red EMA becomes your uh, director. So this uh, that's the reason why I removed the pivot earlier because we are out of the pivot. It, it won't be helpful. So anyway, from where price is, um, if it has to drop, this is where my first TP will be because that's where support is. And uh, next TP2 is the next level of support. I would say in this zone. Right, and then this is TP3. Um, and for pound, pound pairs move in average, like one move can be 200 or 400 pip. Guys, to confirm. That's 443 pip. So if you catch pound at the right direction, you're sorted for the week. You don't even have to look at other pairs. But when you're in the wrong direction, especially GN, it will show you flames because with just a lot size of 0 0.02 or 0 0.01, you can find yourself at minus $100. So it's not a pair to play with. I will recommend that if you want to trade pound, maybe stay away from GN and Beast. If you do not want to do that, then scalp it. Just stay in scalp, like just trade it for the news. It shouldn't be that pair that you stay with for a week or so, right? So yeah, this look like a double bottom. So we have push down, then push up. So I think what I want to see is this. Uh, that was if there was no news, right? I'll wait for a break of that um consolidation the break of those high then i will comfortably be selling right so something like this but because of where we're going i don't know the my next option is this Have it in another color. Okay. And wait for a break. So if I have to place spending orders, it will be because this black line, it's a monthly midpoint. It's a very, very strong line. Even though you notice it was broken a few times. Can you see every time the price uh, pushed up and got there? It got rejected one, two, three, four, five, six times. It got rejected, and that's why we are we are below a monthly uh, pivot. So, if we be thinking of going higher and you want to place your pending order, you have the 200 here that do not play in a downtrend. This uh, red EMA also act as strong resistance. So there is quite a lot of resistance. Um, so in case you want to place a buy, 
I would say place your buy somewhere here. That's the safest place because this um, 21 is a resistance. Uh, 200 is fair market price. So at 200 price might, might just consolidate and uh, 55, it's also a resistance. Then when you break that, you go to M M1, it's a resistance. Then if you, you manage to pass that, then you have monthly pivot again. So safely, if you have to place a pending order, place it above all of this resistance and accept to miss those people. Now, if you are scalping, you can say, okay, I can, if I see price making higher highs, maybe on M15, I can uh, decide to take it at a break and, and retest. So that's maybe later on in the evening, there's news coming up, you decide, okay, let me take it at a break and retest, then it makes sense to me to have that. To buy and then I know that as soon as I get to the black line uh, on top here, I'm out of that market. You wait for it, you stand at the sideline, you wait for a break, then you can see if you'll jump in or not. But why am I saying so many? But again, this um, move, this from where it is now, if there's news coming up, we can see price breaking this level very quickly. So you just have to be hands-on this evening when you take this trade. I guess we don't for, for today. We did GN, we did uh, uh, quite a few pairs. Yeah, I'll stop. Yeah, we just, thank you, thank you guys, we just, Yo, now me. <laughs> she just stopped. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. We're gonna um we will put the trade plan as usual in the telegram. Okay, bye guys. Bye.